All right, a lot of rain this morning now starting to see some of that fade away and as we go through the afternoon we should see actually the sun come out later on today and into the evening hours on super Doppler 10 right now you'll notice there's still some rain showers around the area most of those are across the south side the peninsula doing a lot better than we were this morning had some light rain showers parts of hampton and into newport news at times a little bit of moderate rain eastern shore pretty much dry now with the just extreme southern tip seeing some rain but into virginia beach chesapeake and suffolk still some showers ongoing same thing for much of northeast north carolina from Elizabeth City into Gates County, set east towards the Manio and south to Hatteras, there's still some light to moderate rainfall. So through the day today, rainfall chances staying elevated here through the lunchtime hour, but then fading away as we go into the afternoon and the evening as Idalia starts to pull away from our coastline and in its wake brings in some drier and more refreshing air for tomorrow. Should see a pretty nice day for Friday with the sunshine returning and temperatures hanging out in the 70s as we round out the week. Notice no rain tomorrow, just a couple clouds in the sky should be a wonderful day for Friday. Just got to get through this afternoon and evening. Now here's the center. You can see it very well defined a little bit wider and more elongated than it was yesterday on the uh, satellite picture, but certainly can see where the area low pressure is and the clouds extending north into our area as this kind of interacts with a front. The Hatteras area, Southern Outer Banks, you've been seeing the strongest wind gusts, recent gust up to 54 there to the west of uh, kind of the Buxton area and 46 right there at the tip. 36 in Manio, 41 a little bit further south towards Oregon Inlet and some gusts of 32 in Mainland Dare. This is a live look from Hatteras, North Carolina, and you can see some of the big waves ongoing and of course the wind whipping everything around. Recent gusts through the morning hours since midnight have been anywhere in the range around 20 to 40 miles per hour across much of Hampton Roads, a little higher in a few spots, Virginia Beach getting up to 44. Hatteras has gusted to 55 at one point this morning, had some gusts over to 30, 35 in Hampton, some other gusts for you here, Nags had 52, 47 in Korea. Rova and 49 at Oregon Inlet. So wind certainly stronger North Carolina than in Virginia, but through the afternoon wouldn't be shocked to see a gust 35, maybe even 40, well, maybe even 45 at the Virginia Beach coastline, but generally that 35 to 40 in our eastern counties, a little lower inland areas. Further south you go towards Hatteras, maybe a gust up to 60 this afternoon. Now notice we go into Friday here, the winds are still elevated, not as strong, but we still have a bit of a wind for tomorrow, which is going to keep our tide up a touch. The tide this morning topped off at around 5.2 feet. I think this evening will be pretty comparable to that, probably around that 5.2 to 5.6 range. The official forecast is 5.6, which is uh, just at the bottom range there of moderate flood stage for Sewell's Point. Some other locations for you. Yorktown this evening expected to get to 4.6, which is minor. 5.1 at Linhaven Inlet, which is uh, at the moderate flood stage. And Duck, 6.4 for the high tide around 9 p.m. tonight. That is also in the moderate category. Once again, tomorrow, a wonderful day. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Should be a nice end to our week after a very wet Thursday. As we head into the weekend, a couple clouds here and there, but overall very nice. This camera will not look like this tomorrow. We'll see the sunshine return as temperatures climb into the 70s. Weekend forecast looks like this 79 Saturday, 85 on Sunday, and then looking at the extended forecast, we'll see some nicer weather pushing in as we head towards Labor Day 2 with 90 degrees for the forecast high for Labor Day, 91 on Tuesday. After a couple days here of a bit of a break from the uh, heat and humidity, we're going to add the heat back as we head towards the weekend and into Labor Day for uh, Monday, 90 degrees. Stick with us. More Wave News 10 midday in just a minute.